guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, just in case you didn't know. So today I just wanted to go ahead and share some of my mommy must-haves for an infant, a newborn. Um, so I just wanted to share that. Uh, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also make sure to subscribe below in no particular order, really. Um, I'll just go ahead and just start sharing some of the things that I feel like are must-haves. This first one might seem a little bit obvious. Um, to me, I didn't realize how important it was until my son got here. So car seats, obviously you need a car seat. Um, with that being said, there's infant car seats, there's convertible car seats. There's so many different things on the market that you can choose from. Uh, for me, I thought that a convertible car seat was going to be the best option. And then he got here and he was just so small um, in such a big convertible car seat because remember it has to seat up to 100 pounds or even past that. So, um, and also it's just kind of a pain having to, if you're going out and about, to have to get your infant out of the car seat and put them into a stroller. Um, it's so much better to just have a car seat that you can put into your stroller. So that's what we ended up doing a couple of weeks after he arrived. We ended up getting a um, infant car seat, which now I know is a must over the convertible car seat. It goes compatible with our stroller we have. We have the Uppa Baby Vista. Um, so what we did was we got the um, Uppa Baby Mesa car seat. Um, and since we've had it, we've already made such so much use out of it. It's so easy to move from car to car if we need to. It also latches into our stroller, obviously. Um, and it's just, it makes everything so much easier. So if you're not sure if you should get an infant car seat or save the money and just get a convertible car seat, I would recommend just getting the infant car seat and waiting to get um, the convertible car seat later down the road. Um, because it just, it makes life so much easier. So I definitely recommend this. Then staying on topic of seats, I don't have it in here. However, I do recommend some kind of a baby swing. I'll go ahead and put in a clip um, of the one that we have. Um, one of my coworkers was actually nice enough to let us use it. I'll go ahead and put a clip in right now. The swing that we have Salem sleeps in for hours and then on topic of another seat that I really enjoy I didn't realize I was gonna need this until um, until my mom told me that I needed it so this was actually a, um, a gift from my mom she just got it for um, Salem because she knew how important it was to have one of these um, so you want somewhere to put your baby maybe you want them to be right by you whether you're at the kitchen, um, you know, doing dishes or cooking or whatever. Um, it's something you can put on to the counter or onto a table or even move it into um, the bathroom if you need to shower and nobody can watch your baby while you're showering. Um, this chair is really handy. Salem actually really likes it, so I really like it. Um, we got this on Amazon. I'll put a link down below if I can find it. It's just we needed a safe environment to sit him in um, if we were doing anything. So um, this chair is awesome for that. It does exactly what it needs to do. It's nothing really fancy, um, but it really, it does the job. So I definitely recommend looking into getting one of these because I think this is a must have for sure. Moving on to some baby wear. It's the Moby wrap. If you can see it there, Moby. At first I was kind of scared of it. I didn't think it was gonna work. It's just fabric. It's a really, really long piece of fabric is what it is. Um, and you pretty much just wrap it around you. There's instructions. It's actually not as hard as it seems. And then you slip the baby into it. My son will fall asleep while I'm wearing it while he, he's in there. Um, and I also really like it too. I feel like it's also a really good bonding um, piece. If you have a lot of things you need to get done, but you want to be close to your baby, I, I kind of feel like I'm still pregnant when I wear this because he's so close to me and I'm not actually having to physically like keep my arms on him. So this I feel like is a must if you have things to get done 
and you have maybe a more fussy baby that needs to be held all the time, then this is really awesome for that. If you live in a colder climate, what I recommend is um, something that you can get them in and out of easily, especially since it is colder. I do recommend sleep sacks. Um, he has a couple of these. The sleep sacks are awesome. The ones that I like are like the fleece lined ones because they keep everything, they keep your baby really warm. And then they also, um, they have a little button here. And then they just simply unzip. So it makes diaper changes very easy. You can put clothes on underneath them or just keep them naked. And then this one I would say is more like a going out one because um, it's a little bit thicker. Um, and this one I believe I got at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, and it's just really warm and fuzzy. So it keeps them nice and warm. So I do recommend getting a sleep sack um, or a couple of them if you live in a colder climate. Also, I have a few uh, must-haves as far as sleep goes. Newborns don't really like to sleep and I really like sleep. So anything to make my life a little bit easier to where I can sleep at night, um, I'm definitely gonna do. So I'm gonna put a clip in of some of my must-haves um, for what his sleeping arrangement looks like. Um, and I'll put that in right now. So some of the things that I recommend for sleeping um, would to start be this Graco pack and play. They make all different kinds. Some of them have the bassinet in them, some of them don't. Um, and then they come equipped with swings or um, bouncers or like mine had the changing pad. So what I consider to be a must have would be the Graco pack and play. I got the one with the bassinet feature as well as the changing station. And I really believe that this is a must have uh, for several different reasons in the middle of the night. You don't want to do changes on your bed because if, um, at least if you have a boy, he might pee and you don't really want it going on your bed. So what I've done is I just have the changing station right in the pack and play and then I have his other must have, um, which is the Snuggle Me Organic. I have it in here for whichever blanket we're going to use for the night um, to keep him warm. Um, but it's just a safe place for him to be and sleep and it keeps him nice and cozy. Um, and it feels very comparable, I believe, to when he was in the womb uh, because the sides, um, they kind of contour his body. So that's where he sleeps um, and he seems to really, really like it. So that's what we use. Um, and then the changing pad, I just have, um, I just have one of these changing pads down because this gets a little bit cold at night. So I just have a changing pad down on it. And then um, we have like a little changing station right here just on my makeup table. Um, so we have just a night light, uh, the white warmer. This is another must have. Um, if you live somewhere cold or if it's the winter, I do recommend getting a white warmer. Um, it's really nothing that special sometimes it can dry out the wipes, so that's something to keep in mind. I would just recommend maybe like putting a little bit of water in there as well just to keep things like moisturized and not dry out. Um, and then also, this is kind of a funny one, um, but we do have just changing pads. So what we do is we just lay one of these changing pads down on top of here or wherever we're changing him. So then if he does have an accident, we just simply can throw this away instead of have to do more laundry. And then another thing that isn't in the clip um, is a sound machine. I do recommend like a sound machine or something that plays music. Um, babies really love music, especially from them being in your womb. They do um, have a lot of that white noise um, just from like your heartbeat, your breathing, your walking, your movements. Um, so that helps lull them to sleep as well. We always have a sound machine going off at night. As and then um, the last thing that I think is a must have that may be easily forgotten, I do recommend a portfolio of some kind. If you don't wanna actually get a portfolio, like a baby portfolio, you can just go to the store and pick up just, um, just um, like a folder that has different filing slots in it and then you can just make your own as well. Then I like that it just keeps all the baby stuff right together. Um, and I do think that this is a must have 
um, if you're wanting to stay more organized. Because um, if I, I know if I didn't have this, his paperwork would just be thrown wherever. And that's not really going to be handy if I ever need to find anything. All right, guys. So that completes my video today. Thank you so much for watching all of my baby must-haves. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and then to subscribe as well if you're interested in following along all of my mommy videos. Um, and thank you so much and bye.